What's up, guys? We're coming back to you from my kitchen again. Same place we gave the snakes, the big snakes, a bath on the old video. My hat's always messed up, man. I gotta straighten that thing out real quick. There we go. Still not right. There we go. All right, guys. So we got a great unboxing video today. We're gonna be doing four snakes. I love the springtime because all of our snakes that we ordered over the winter are finally starting to get the okay to come in. So we are going to go downstairs, unbox. We're gonna take a small trip to go get them. This is actually done over two different days, but I just figured I'd make it into one video. We got some really awesome snakes to unwrap. You don't want to miss it. Let's go. You've got me saying words in my head, filling my mind with these images. Makes me feel like I can't breathe. It ain't right, right, right. It ain't right, right, right. It ain't right. right. Alright, guys. So on to box number two. This one comes from Circus Morphs. This one's not nearly as expensive as the first one, but this one was bought with a specific purpose in mind. So we have Pennywise. That is the name. That's his name. He is a male black pastel orange dream clown. So whenever you have black pastel together in orange dream, that's called a nightmare. So a it's a black nightmare clown. So we call them Pennywise. I thought it was a neat name for him. Got the heat pack right here on top. Because this snake also came from California. Lots of good snake breeders in California. Now, this is a way bigger snake. All right, we got a little movement in there, so that's good. This is a way bigger snake, and this snake is an adult female that I have been searching for something to pair with Pennywise because Pennywise is also 50% het for hypo, so technically, if he proved out, he would be a black pastel orange dream clown that is pet for hypo. So I would like to try to prove out his hypo that he is either 50% or 0%. Well, this female that I found, she came in a pillowcase, apparently. This female that I found, this is an adult female, female sorry. This is an adult female, and she is pastel, and she is a visual hypo. Where are you at, baby girl? There she is. There she is. So, she made it here. How beautiful is this snake? She is a pastel hypo, and she tends to lay around nine eggs. So that means every time we breed her, we will have nine chances to prove out that Pennywise is het for hypo. But check out how beautiful this snake looks. And this is, once again, she is just pastel and hypo, which hypo is recessive as we know. So, but check out how cool she looks. And she lays nine eggs at a time. And I picked her up for only 850 bucks and I really did it just because of the amount of eggs she can lay and because of uh, that she is a visual hypo so it'll be much easier to prove him out as hypo if we have a doing it to another visual and I didn't have any hypo females in my collection so now we do so first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna give her a quick once over well hello beautiful Give her a quick once over. Make sure we don't see any visible signs or bites or anything like that. She is extremely nice so far. Of course, she could just be slow playing me so she can bite me in the face. Check her out all over. She probably really needs a bath. She's a little dirty. She's a little dirty, but other than that, she looks really good. I don't see any uh, 
visible signs of any mites or anything of the sort. Her belly is super cool looking. Just on these bigger snakes, got to, especially with all their dark patches, we just want to give them an extra little look over to make sure. And then she's still going to go into quarantine for a month so that we can make sure she doesn't have anything because we don't want to get the rest of our collection uh, mites running around everywhere. But how cool is this? Pastel hypo adult female. She's ready to go right now, but we're going to hold off. We're going to wait to start pay, pay, uh, pairing her till October, November-ish. But she's pretty awesome. All right, I'll see you guys later. Welcome back to the grow tent. Got some stuff by my feet here. We have two new arrivals today. Uh, we have the first one is from Circus Morphs. And then the second one... Is yeah, put a cool sticker on the box from RMH or RMS. Sorry about that. Inside this box, should I wait and tell you? Uh, let's just show you. Now, this was coming from California, so it was 84 degrees where he was, and it's only 40 something here this morning where we are. So, we're going to open this one first, even though I would like to open it second because this is kind of like the big dog right here. This is uh, our new male. I had a lot of males lately. And uh, what else we got? What all we got in here? We got some cards, sticker. Rich McCall's Serpents. Now, this snake came from far away Feel a little movement, and he wasn't allowed to have a heat pack in there with him, so I was pretty nervous for this one, and he was really expensive. Now, he also zip-tied it. Luckily, we have a pair of dykes right here. There we go. Zip-tie cut. Not undone. Well, first knot. We got a second one here. Some of these knots. Not friendly. <laughs> Alright, so he's a little cold. You okay? Alright, he's moving. And we're gonna, we'll warm him up just a little bit here for a second with our hands. Because he is a little chilly. And the thing is, Whenever they're kind of cold, you, I don't want to put them directly into the box. You know what I mean? So that they can go right to their heat source. If they Because if they get too cold and then they crawl right onto an 88 degree heat source, you know, it, it can be bad for them. So we're just going to warm them up here a second in our hands. And we're going to talk about what he is because he's a, a pretty spectacular investment that we made. Uh, he is... A stranger leopard yellow belly that is 66% head for clown and you can see him he's starting to he's starting to come around he's starting to move His little tongue is going I'm so happy this little guy is okay I was very nervous for him but look how awesome he looks I cannot wait for him to grow up this coming up fall into a little bit of the winter when we start pairing him. If we can get him up to weight quick enough, which I think we should be able to. Because, oh, well, hello, he's coming out the top. Very nice to see you, sir. Uh, we're going to, I, I, I want to make, now he's 66% head for clown. So it's not for sure that he's got head for clown in him, but if he does, oh my goodness. If we can make some banana stranger clowns, I'm pretty excited. But biggest investment to date for the the channel, for what I'm trying to do. And uh, I don't know, I saw them and I was just like, I have to have them. So really, really cool. 
Really glad he's moving around. He's looking fantastic. We're going to check him out real quick here. Make sure he doesn't have any mites or anything like that. Then he'll go into his quarantine tub. Now with these darker snakes, they're a lot harder to see because, well, because they're black and he's really black. But he's got some really cool brown, like orangish brown tones all over him. And then like check out his side markings, if you can see that. How cool does he look on the sides? Look at that. I mean, how awesome is that? He looks amazing. So once again, Stranger Leopard Yellow Belly, 66% head for Clown. So hopefully he'll prove out to be Clown. We're all right. Hopefully he proves out to be Clown, and that'll be absolutely amazing. So we're going to go put him. He's starting to move around and stuff, so I'm pretty happy. So we're going to go, I'm going to go put him uh, in his little crate, and we'll be right back. All right, guys, welcome back. We have two snake unboxings today. Uh, this first one is I bought this snake in October of last year, but it was coming from Pennsylvania. So it took a long, it took a, uh, you know, they couldn't ship in the winter time. So it, we just now, this week, finally got it all clear to ship it. So we've been waiting for this thing for quite a while, almost half a year, oh, over half a year, right? Oh, sure. So I'm pretty excited to get this box open. And then we've got a, a bigger snake that we're going to open at the, we're going to open next. So, but up first here. Oh, I just dropped all the stickers. Dang it. Alright. Use like a hair tie, I guess, on top of the the, the regular band to keep the uh, snake from untying itself. Pretty neat idea. First time I've seen this. Alright, so rubber band. And then... Oh, okay, that's why. Come here, you. Oh, hello, beautiful. So here we have a GHI Fire Clown. Uh, I don't know if you've uh, ever seen a, a GHI Clown or especially a GHI Fire Clown. Look how cool these snakes look. The color and the pattern was one of my favorite things about GHI in clowns. And then since this one also has fire in it, it makes it look that much better. So the first thing we always do when we get a new snake is we're going to give it kind of a once over. Give her a check. Let her, let's check her out. Make sure we don't see any creepy crawly things moving around on her. And then also whenever we get new snakes in, I always put them on paper towels in their quarantine rack. I don't put them in the cocoa. So that way if they do have anything, it's a lot easier to pick up if they have, if, they, if they're just sitting on paper towels instead of sitting in the cocoa. The cocoa can hide, you know, stuff that they're in. Let's get a weight on her. I've got my scale right down here. All right. Let's put you in here for a second, girl. All right, she's 160 grams, so we're going to get that weight up, but pretty good weight already. She's extremely cute. Oh, she's a little feisty. We're warming her up with her hands. She's a little cold, of course. She's coming from Pittsburgh, but let's get her put up, and let's get her settled in. Everything looks perfect on her. I don't see any sign of mites. I don't see any sign of any kind of respiratory infection. So we're gonna get her. We're gonna get her put up, and uh, we'll get the next one out. This one is put up in her quarantine rack with her paper towel. Uh, so that one came from May Reptiles. Picked up one of the stickers that I dropped. And this next one 
got his own packing tape. It says AJ's Reptiles. So we're going to unpack this one. Let's see what we got. I'm pretty excited about this one. This one popped up. Uh, I always constantly cruise the adult section of the ball pythons, just seeing if anybody's on there needs money or something like that. Got a card from AJ's Reptile. Nice material, too. Alright, so we're in here. We have a heat pack on top of the, the foam. We're on top of, uh, what else is this shit called? Like the packing material. Brain fart. We have uh, stickers from AJ's. And then we have a snake in a bag. Now, this snake, you guys know I am extremely infatuated with Batmans. I think they're one of the coolest looking ball pythons. So, when this snake popped up for sale, and out we have a Super Leopard Batman. <laughs> I've been wanting a Batman since I started this, and now I have an adult female Super Leopard Batman. Let's get a weight on her real quick. She looks beautiful and healthy coming all the way from California and I'm super ecstatic to have her. Let's get her weight and she is at 1200 grams already. So this fall whenever we pair her she's going to be ready to go. We'll probably be pairing her with our stranger we have a, you know, that you saw earlier in the video, that is Stranger, Leopard, Yellow Belly, 66% Head for Clown. Or we do have that awesome male from uh, Ball Python Shed, which is Banana, Yellow Belly, Red Stripe, Pastel, Clown, and it's a female maker. So it'll be one of those two. It'll probably be the Stranger. We'll have to just see what's going on with it, but it'll be one of those two males, so we can either make some banana red stripe uh, Batmans, or we have a chance to make stranger Batmans with our stranger that's 66% pet clown if he proves out to be clown. So how cool would that be? This snake is awesome. It's beautiful looking. And the fact that I have a super leopard Batman adult female in my hands right now is absolutely crazy to me. She is gorgeous and let's check her out we're gonna look see make sure we don't see any mites anything like that I don't see anything around her eyes I don't see anything moving on her and uh, I'm really extremely excited to have her and we're gonna get her put up now but thanks for hanging out with me guys we'll see you next time thanks for uh, visiting uh, the Spartan Pythons and we'll see you next time peace